What is going on, everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Not sure why I start off these videos like a professional email, but we're just gonna roll with it. But welcome back to Fitment Industries Garage, or just welcome if this is your first time. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries, and we are here today to bring you yet another episode of What Wheels Fit. And on today's episode, we're gonna be covering the latest generation of the Volkswagen Beetle. Before we go ahead and jump right into the video, please, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, once you know what wheels are gonna fit, your Volkswagen Beetle. Afterwards, don't forget who helped you out and stop on over to fitmanindustries.com. Check out all the wheels, tires, and suspension options that we have available for those cars and many, many more. The latest generation of the Beetle really revived what the car lost in those ugly 2000s years. The car kind of went through like a little bit of a middle school phase, if you know what I mean, like millennials will understand. But you know what I'm talking about. Either way, I think they did a pretty good job with the new generation of the Beetle. And apparently other people think so as well because there's a ton of them uploaded to the gallery right now over at fitmentindustries.com. So what we're gonna do is take a look at some of those cars that are sitting over there and go over what people are running as far as aftermarket wheels, tires, and suspension on them to help you guys out if you're looking to throw some on your car as well. What we'll do is start with some setups that will be pretty good for your everyday daily driver and move on to some more aggressive setups as we move down the list. First things first, however, the general recommended fitment range for these cars is going to give us a diameter of 18 to 20 inches a width from eight to nine inches and an offset from plus 35 to plus 48 in a bolt pattern of five by 112. So not a terribly wide range here, but still enough to have a big impact on how these wheels are actually going to fit the car. So let's get started with our first car of the day, which is going to be this 2012 Turbo running some avant-garde M220s. Now these are an 18 by eight with a plus 45 offset for the size. Now, before we go any further, a quick note here that this car is running 15 millimeter spacers in the front and the rear. So with that, we would actually be looking at an effective offset of right around plus 30. So if you like the way this looks, but don't want to run spacers, an 18 by 8 plus 30 would be what you want to look for. Anyway, Nitto Neogen tires of 205 40 for the size and sitting on some BC racing coilovers. Moving right along here, we get to a 2015 with some rotiform CCV wheels, and these are an 18 by 8 and a half with a plus 35 offset. So getting a little bit wider, dropping that offset a bit, but we are still looking at a 10 millimeter spacer front and rear. So bringing that effective offset to a plus 25. Now these are wrapped some good old Nanking NS20 tires 21540 and then sitting on some H&R lowering springs. Again, another solid daily setup here that looks pretty good, pretty flush fitment as well, and it doesn't require any other modifications as far as fender rolling or anything like that to get the wheels to fit. Next up, we have a 2013 Turbo, some Rotiform BLQs, and these are a 19 by eight and a half with a plus 35 offset. No spacers on this car. Nanking NS20 tires again, 23540 for the size, and then sitting on some VWR lowering springs. Now, I think 19s work pretty well on these cars, and eight and a half plus 35 gives a nice flush fitment with that tire and no rubbing issues, no fender work needed, all good to go. Next up, we get our first look, an example of one of these cars on some air suspension. Here we have a 2015 with some Rotiform TMBs, 19 by eight and a half plus 35 once again, paired with some Nitto tires, 235, 35, and then sitting on some Airlift Performance air suspension. When aired out, we are looking at a pretty nearly flush fitment. Looks pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. So if you're looking for an air setup, this would be a good place to start. As the wheels start to get a bit wider and a little more aggressive on these cars, we see that pretty much everyone is running air suspension for the most part. That being said, these last few cars will be running some sort of air suspension on them. Let's start with this 2015 with some Radiate R8 B12 wheels, 20 by nine with a plus 30 offset. And these are wrapped in some Atsu FP8000 tires, 245, 30 for the size, and then of course on some airlift performance air suspension. Running about negative two degrees of camber all around and still no notes of having to modify fenders or remove fender liners or anything like that to get this set of wheels to fit. Next, we have another 2015 with this time with some BBS RS wheels. Now this is an 18 by 10 with a plus 16 offset in the front and an 18 by 11 plus 10 offset in the rear, giving us our first staggered setup of the day. Nanking NS2 tires, 215, 45 and a 225, 40 for the size and then sitting aired out with the help of the Airlift Performance air suspension. Fenders are rolled and using a roll center correction kit to help dial in that camber and fitment. Something that is pretty common when you get into fitments like this that you're going to need to really dial it in and it's gonna require the use of additional suspension components like this car has. Bringing us to our last Beetle and car of the day, which is going to be this 2014 rolling on some water-cooled industries LP1s. Now these are 19 by 10 with a plus 27 offset in the front and a 19 by 10 and a half with a 36 in the rear. 215, 35 and a 225, 35 for the tire size. And then of course, airlift performance, air suspension. The car looks amazing. It's damn near perfect. The fitment spot on the wheels fit the car. It's just all around good. So there you guys have it. Those are some solid examples of different variations of what people
people are running as far as wheels, tires, and suspension on their newest generation Volkswagen Beetle. Of course, if you want to check out some more examples or maybe see something a little bit different, hop on over to fitmentindustries.com. Check out the gallery. That's where we got all these cars from. And check it out for yourself. All this information that you'll ever need is listed there for you to look at for yourself. But don't forget, wheels, tires, suspension, fitmentindustries.com. I'm Gels. We'll see you later. Peace.